This example says that in a conservative force field, work done in carrying a body from point P to Q is 5 joule and that from Q to R is 2 joule. And we are required to find the work done in carrying the body from position P to R. As we know, in case of conservative force field, work done does not depend on the path. Work done can always be written as final energy minus initial energy when external agent is doing the work. In this situation, we can see that when body is taken from point P to Q, work done is 5 joule. So, work done from P to Q can be written as potential energy at Q minus potential energy at P, which is given as 5 joule. Similarly, when body is taken from Q to R, it is 2 joule. Work done in going from Q to R can be written as potential energy at position R minus potential energy at position Q, it can be written as 2 joule. We are required to find work done in carrying the body from P to R. So, work done in going from P to R can be written as UR minus UP. If we wish to calculate it, you just have a look. If we add the above two equations, say if this equation is 1, if this equation is 2. If we add these two equations, you just see what we are getting. This UQ gets cancelled out and will be getting UR minus UP that will be equal to 7 joule. So, this is the answer to this question where we can say 7 joule work is required when the body is taken directly from position P to position R.